Welcome back, welcome back, live from RPT Studios, Chingle Bling Network. I don't know, I guess that's going to be part of the intro. It is, yeah. Hey, we got a jingle coming, don't worry, man. We got all these musical people in here. Uh, this is the What Did He Said podcast. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Brand new show, brand new episode. The homie Javi Luna from Corpus is stopping by once again for your audio pleasure. Good, good, man. How'd you guys sleep? Good? <laughs> yeah. Todo bien, todo bien. We got Juan Perez in the building. What's up, y'all? Representing the 210 Countdown City. Back behind, behind the scenes. Way back there. Playing way back. Producer, way back. engineer. Yes, DJ, sir. producer, Big Rob in the building. It, making it happen on the ones and twos. Yes, sir. Con la barba. Pura barba aquí. The battle of the beards. Javi and, uh, and Rob. <laughs> I ain't even on his level, man. You look like you're... Have you, have you ever... Do you know go to beard contest? Yeah, I, no beard contest. No, I thought you were saying. <laughs> no, no. Thing. Don't it? tell them that. Beard, dog. It's a, I had yeah, no idea. Yeah. Head, this is a small Dude, room. The we, head we, ain't we have a group. We have a group in in Corpus called the Harry Hooligans, man, and they host like this beard contest. Where like, they do like how much crumbs you can get in there. <laughs> different thing, like, like some like there's different like categories that like, you can do like sh- like guys that like do like different shapes. And shit, really, or, or, just, or, or, or just standard, just judging the quality of, or to do the DJ Kane where he's had beard. lines and his yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm sure. There's, yeah, and one of my old podcasts, we, we had uh, the guy on, he came, and, he, and yeah, it's a whole thing. Like I said, we were talking about in, in between shows. Yeah, you can nerd out about anything. You're right. That, that's kind of I think going to be one of the ingredients of the show is like just nerding out. Yes. about some shit. Yeah. Like, just everybody has different tastes. Like Rob, he's big into the Fast and Furious movies. At Best that, cinematic oh, universe ever. Yeah. Best in the really? cinematic game. Yeah, 100%. Like, That's why I mentioned it earlier. How he looked like, at me he, like he loves that. Was Fast like and the Furious, which is I a big too. franchise. I did too, but I feel I like I only still watch them because I feel like they've started to laugh at themselves. <laughs> so I can appreciate that. Like, I'll go with, like, if you're able to laugh at, at yourself, like, like the Hobbs and Shaw movie, right? Like, the only reason that was like at, at all tolerable. Was because like they got how stupid the premise of the movie, <laughs> but it was, was. still enjoyable, wasn't no, no, it? It was good. That's what made it okay, fun. Like, yeah. they're, they're like laughing at themselves as they're as they're going along. You know what makes like, the okay? You know what makes I, it I, funny I is that is that Vin Diesel is serious. He's dead serious about the damn movies. Well, yeah, and, that's, and they made fun of it like it was almost like making fun of taking a shot at him. It was yeah, like, no, he thinks he thinks he's Toretto. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker thinks he's just like just Bro, like Johnny Depp thinks he's fucking Pirates ever, of the Caribbean. Yeah, and fucking, Jack Sparrow. Did you ever see the clip? Where he uh, some award show and he starts singing the uh, the the song that uh, what's his name wrote for for the Paul Walker song. Uh, oh, the Wiz uh, Khalifa, right? Yeah, the Wiz, uh. Wiz Khalifa, but uh, it was a uh, pa- Posner, right? <laughs> Poser, yeah, they wrote it, and and Vin Diesel, some award song, goes up there, and he can't sing, and starts wow. singing the song into the mic. And while it was a heartfelt moment, like no one wanted to laugh at him, but like he should not have <laughs> done that, like at all. Like it's got to be on YouTube. Like that's why you gotta have a fly, fire playlist for like you know when you pass, you know yeah. you're coming home. Like you gotta, hey motherfucker, don't be playing no. None of that type of shit. I don't want mm-hmm. motherfuckers can't sing. Uh-huh. Don't be trying funeral? to sing. Don't be trying to sing Pimp C and shit. Not for me. to go morbid. Do y'all have a funeral playlist? I have one. Like I thought. I got assumed it, right? everyone got one. You don't yeah, I mean, in my I haven't like formally I I put it down. No bullshit played it. Bro. Yeah, it's got to be lit. It's got to be like. I tell. I tell. So Buku cumbia. Yeah, just as I'm going through stuff, I'll tell my wife, "Hey, this one." Add it to the playlist. Put this one. On. Really? Yeah. I might have to do that. I like that idea. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, really know sure. weak shit. Because I'm not listen. Don't. Listen, I'm not knocking it. If it's your jam, look, I don't want no fucking. I can only imagine, <laughs> no basic shit. And my like, give me some tragos mama. amargos. You know what I'm saying? You definitely throw. But I feel like that one, even Too that depressing. one, get as far as Mexicans go. That it's cliche. That, that, that one's all, all over, overdone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for it's sure. Too standard. For I don't me. really listen to music like that, so you're gonna have to play like podcasts. I'm just like, that's all I listen to. <laughs> that's just funny, put a fucking Ramon. podcast that in the background. <laughs> Leave it yeah, on. Let it play. <laughs> it's like, why are we playing commercials? What? This was Juan's favorite commercial, bro. Come on, bro. It's yeah, on his it's list. Commercial. It did, dude. It's, it's, he loves you advertising greens. space. You want to advertise his face? <laughs> that's gonna be in the, in, in the future. People are gonna be just like, oh, this is his favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Like we're just watching his favorite gamer, <laughs> yeah, gamer yeah, videos. Yeah. Oh, he loved this. He one. loved Minecraft. Why are we this watching speed T- run? T Pain play video he games. Loves those. In between speakers, start playing the commercials. I want the ads and stuff. It's yeah. Like y'all had to sit through this shit. Yeah, like we had I had fun this whole shit day, bro. Fuck, yeah, yeah. my son would hate that shit. Because it'd be a party, right? You're saying your, your funeral is gonna be a party. Well, I mean, I, I yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like if it's yours, it should have a little piece of of, of you mm-hmm. right like, yeah yeah yours is gonna be a party mine's gonna be a well, TED i don't talk. even want a traditional funeral 
You don't? No, 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 no. I fucking cremate me. Yeah, I'm gonna be cremated. Have something at the comedy club for like my friends or whatever. Pull the mic towards you, Javi. You can, you can get no, you get comfy. Just pull it towards you if they want to say some shit or whatever. But uh, don't go fucking paying a a funeral home tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, cremate me to Mm -hmm. pay memory to me. Yeah, like it's it's yeah. I've I've gone through the funeral planning process twice with both my parents, and it's such a predatory fucking industry because you're, you're you're emotional and whatever and you want to honor your loved ones but the fact that people are like paying like paying upward 10 15 twenty thousand dollars for a, a fucking funeral is you know a little ridiculous that you know. what's your thoughts on like big expensive weddings same same i i, I mean why at the, at this at this at this point in time, uh, you know, shit, I got married in gym clothes. <laughs> nice. You know what I'm saying, like, like when you're talking about, and and that's even more, right? You're talking about twenty twenty is the starting point for a lot of weddings now. I mean, I got married back in two thousand six, and we we didn't have an extravagant wedding, and we hit that twenty mark, no, no questions asked, you know, and we had the big wedding. That back then, this is talking about two thousand six. That was that was a decent down payment on a house. Mm-hmm. You know, I was 22 years old. What? Why did I need a $20,000 party? Like, that could have started my marriage off on a whole different footing, you know? So whose idea was that? Or? Uh, well, a lot of it's the expectation, right? And I, I get it. I'm not knocking anybody that has the big wedding. Mm-hmm. You know, fam- family pressures go into it. You know, I, I come from the big South Texas Hispanic family. And, and, and yeah, especially back then, you know. You know how are you gonna run off and and, and get married and and not you gotta invite your, your yeah, kid. yeah yeah I mean just family alone, you know we we got to over three hundred guests very easily and and that's because we cut out a lot of people. I had to tell my mom at one point I was like hey listen, uh, if I haven't seen this person in five years, <laughs> they don't need to come to my wedding. <laughs> oh but but no because they used to babysit your cousin's next door yeah. neighbor is like they're gonna hey, hear about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna hear about it. Yeah, don't wanna offend anybody yeah. by not inviting them. We're gonna get in debt so we don't offend nobody. You know what I'm saying? E- Shit. My son and I we got married at the courthouse in gym clothes. Like yeah. I had to lock that in and just be like, Hey, uh shit. Because yeah, she thought we had to go like pick up some paperwork first, and then mm-hmm. like go and file it and this, and come back and this and that. Do that after. And then we went. I was like, well, let's go pull up and get the paperwork. I had my um my daughter. She's fourteen now. I had her with me. Oh, she might have been, she might have been like six or something. I can't remember. And um, and I was like, yeah, come on, we're getting married. She was like, you guys are about to get married. Like she was just like so emotional, like oh my god. And Marisol was like, oh shit, are we doing this? when they said no we can do it today because i kept asking i kept asking i was like wait so so i gotta bring this back they're like no you could even go up to the to the next floor up and find, i was like so we can do this today and they're like well if there's a judge available i was like can you find out if there's a judge available and uh, my soul's like are you sure i'm not dre-? i'm like come on girl we ain't got time we ain't getting no younger we got a life to build <clears throat> so yeah, was your daughter no your witness Family. Uh, one of them, yeah. Oh, you, wow. Usually at a, at a courthouse, I mean, they'll grab one of the clerk, one of yeah. the secretaries. Or yeah, whatever. I can't remember how many all witnesses, but yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We didn't quite do that. We had we my second marriage, we skipped the big wedding. We were gonna do the big wedding. It was, it was my wife's first marriage, so she wanted to have she or she thought so mm-hmm. she thought she wanted to have the the whole traditional traditional thing. She had never done it before. You know, her, her both her parents were still alive. I was like, I, I'm down. If that's really what you want to do, we'll do it. We already had a house. Like, it, was, it wasn't as big of a deal. So we were going through the whole process. About halfway through, she she decided it's too much. She tells me one night, like, hey, what do you think about just getting married tomorrow? <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like let's, let's... Dodge that bullet. Let's make... Like, I was, here's the thing. And not, not to make it a, a whole... You know, gender thing, but I think it, it as far as the the wedding thing, it it goes a lot different for men and women, right? Because because women ha- have that that pressure put on them to that image of them in a in a dress, and my dad walking me down the aisle, and it's like seen as this like milestone coming of age thing, and and for guys, it's it's much more the it's about the commitment, and 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 when you asked, that was your commitment. Like if I didn't want to marry you. Like I wouldn't have asked, so the fact that I asked like means like I'm I'm all in, right? So why have this one year engagement to delay 
to lay that. Like, I was ready to marry you the day that I, the day that I asked you. So, yeah, if you don't want the big wedding, let's let's do it. The only thing important to me was that my sons were there. So we ended up putting it off like three or four days. Ended up getting married at the comedy club in, nice. in Corpus nice. by a judge friend of mine. Oh, and, great. And, and so so it was still intimate. It, it, you know, our, Special. We got to invite a very select amount of, of of people. You know, we did during the day. We had pizza from, from the restaurant next door. That's you know, perfect. It was, it was very, you know. Perfect. Yeah, it, it honestly was. Shit, Juan on his third marriage now. <laughs> I, 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 know, I know, third marriage, right? I still, it's open ended. Well, Juan's like, I'm, I'm not going out again. <laughs> All right, those two, it was up both courthouses. You know, Juan's what? like, I'm so casual, I might not even go to the third one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, just, just and just based on what Javi just said, I'm going to make sure she don't have a dad. I'll be like, what, who's going to walk it down the aisle? You know, <laughs> you just know like saying? stay away from that. Get Steer clear. Aisle? How you have an aisle? Well, Who needs an aisle? Yeah, yeah, I think that that's the I think that's the only reason big weddings are just just that that expectation people have. And they live with that pressure their whole. And then quinceañeras, I those even. I got worse. a fourteen year old, and she she better know better Ooh. than to be asking me. I was about to say, are you planning it already? Yeah, you know me. Is she going? <laughs> you you already know the answer. Does to that. she go to school with like a lot of the girls that are gonna be having having them? Like I feel like that's um, when. It, mm, honestly, man, I really don't know what don't know. what the hell's going on at that high school oh, okay. in terms of like. <laughs> Like are, they, like, are they doing more like Sweet 16? He has like, concerns. Uh, what's the Something. what's the wave right now? <laughs> he has like, concerns. Or they're all getting He cars. has concerns. The yeah. way. I said, you have concerns. You have some beef with some, the, some with the school. school. Like, nobody <laughs> asked me. <laughs> Did nobody ask me what school district? Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I sub at a lot of high schools. And I don't, I don't feel like the quinceañera is as much of a thing. Like, like, I'll hear kids talking about it every now and then. Like, oh, so-and-so's Kingston, like, two months ago. And, like, yeah, no one's had a Kingston in a while. It's, like, and I remember when I was in school, like, freshman year into sophomore year, like, that was every weekend somebody was having one. Like, there was always a violet to go to, like, if you want, if that was your, your thing, you know. And now it's, like, I feel like not... It's not as much like expected, right? Like, Some of these kids they be doing too much, bro. They're like five outfit changes, like, like yo, who did y'all's li- uh, like run of show? Choreography, like the order of show. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like so. Okay, so what time we doing? What time y'all supposed to be out of here? Because they went back there to change again, and they're doing they're on their third dance routine now. This and the sorpresa, and then the dad gonna dance with her, and then this, and then the the boys come out. They do the backup thing, and I went to one recently, and um. Bro. Some of them dances, I was like, too that's much. not too masculine for the fellas. Should have practiced some more, or just not done them at all. I've never no, done like they together. like they choreographed a lot, mm. but it was kind of like you it's got all too these much. like it's people from like, Mexico, kind of like why them little boys like <laughs> <laughs> they're doing TikTok <laughs> doing all dances, that, all that hip movement. Yeah, there you go. What's going on? Gender, don't gender <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too much shucking and jiving. Yeah, too much. But hey, you still you know doing disc disc golf? This golf, yeah, man. I How's mean, it going, it, dude? It, it's it's fun. It, it's uh, it's a good little way for me to get out, get a little exercise, and uh, it's just uh, it's mellow enough for for me, man. I just go out there and and throw some disc, and, and sometimes I you be high I as fuck. Into, huh? Well, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> is, is it any? It's not any easier than traditional golf. You're like, oh, it requires no more like. It's it's like real golf, right? Like you you can you can need you, there's people that are very athletic and do it at a at an extremely high level. But also, if you're not athletic, you can go out there and just throw it and suck, like and and it'll still, still be participate. fun. Yeah, you can still participate. And uh, and but the bad thing is, you know, if if you if you spark up at a golf course, it, it, it's still frowned upon. But but at a disc golf course, it's almost. Expected, <laughs> even though it's not like purely, it's not like there's a bunch of hippies out there. There's really a, a vast amount of people, and there's even families out there, you know. And it, it's kind of cool to to just see everybody that kind of gets into <clears throat> it. And it's free. A lot of them are like at local parks, and yeah, stuff like that. When we did San Antonio together, uh, Javi and I were roommates. Shout out to LOL, the LOL yeah. Comedy Club. Everybody that came due to LOL, and um, it was dope because in the daytime. Like we were both being active. I'd go do my jujitsu class, and Javi would go fucking get thirty thousand steps at the <laughs> it's a uh, lot of steps at the disc golf, and uh, like it was great. It was like, yeah, it was like we got to do shows and stuff in the evening, but at the, and spent a whole weekend together. But at the same time, like 
we had that side quest mm -hmm. in the daytime where like yeah. we were accomplishing well, that's a good part about being somewhere like over the weekend versus like the one night or oh we get we're in a different town the next night right when you're actually there and able to actually settle go in. And, and, and settle in and do some stuff and it helps with that boredom on the road other than you know what are you gonna you can send the room and write which is that's productive i guess but if you don't feel like doing that you know the only other thing to do is go eat you know and wait for the show yeah, so it's nice to be able to to go out and and do something like like you said you can go and, and find a gym or whatever and um, as i'm finding out apparently there's difficult courses every everywhere you know? which is great because we're gonna be everywhere uh i have some tour dates <clears throat> i'm hitting um dang okay here we got january 25th mccallum texas january 26th south padre island january 27th laredo texas all three of those are with raymond orta Pinche, the posters like King Kong Godzilla, double header. It's like Canelo versus Mayweather. Who's the one? Uh, <laughs> that's how we try to do the art. And then I'm hitting up uh, February 2nd through the 4th. It's going to be Corpus Christi, Texas at Mesquite, Southside location. Uh, March 5th, Naples. March 11th, Odessa, Texas. Uh, we're thinking March 10th is going to be um, San Angelo. We don't know yet. And then I'm collabing with some promoters in California and hitting some markets I've never hit before. March 23rd, Fresno. March 24th, Merced. March 25th, Visalia. So I've hit Fresno before, but I think this is like a theater or something. I don't know. But anyway, hit up chingobling.com. Uh, hit up the merch. Click join the email blast list. Join the email. Subscribe to the email. Uh, what, what kind of things can they expect when they... Uh, when they join the newsletter, yes, I mean, sir. me and Juan are always keeping everybody on top of uh, merch, content, videos. I mean, you guys are blasting out all kinds of stuff on Facebook every day, right, Juan? Yeah, Facebook and Instagram. They're getting different things on Facebook than Instagram now because I'm starting to like switch it up. So perfect. And the merch store, it'll be dropped by this time. But we have a couple <clears> of names that we've we've landed on, so you'll get it in the newsletter. So if you sign up, you'll get that first. For sure. And I want to give people uh, like the agents first dibs on tour tickets and stuff. Uh, I don't know if we have any agents in the. Laredo, South Padre Island, McAllen area. So too bad, so sad. Y'all didn't get y'all's first dibs because I don't even think we got any agents out there. I don't know. Maybe maybe we do. Maybe we don't. We got a couple. Or I haven't seen them on the Discord. Where? Uh, South Padre. Oh, South Padre. Laredo and McAllen. Definitely in Corpus, though. We got some. Well, Grind Ops Coffee Co., they're based out of the RGV. So I think I'm going to sell some coffee at them shows. Nice. And, and if I run out, uh, Grind Ops Coffee Co. can uh, fulfill, you know, fill my inventory up. Badass. So, uh, Javier, you a coffee drinker? I'm not, but my wife is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I might have to ch check that out. <laughs> might have to get into that. Well, I'm, 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 I'm auditioning for a stay-at-home dad role. Mm. Me too. So, so, <laughs> so I make the coffee. I get up. I yeah. Press the coffee. Baby. Come on now. Coffee's on the table. There you go. You know what I'm saying? When you got your little egg bite, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this cool day started right i was I a got, chef so baby you know i can cook up. you seen my work yeah Javi knows I've how to cook work. Javi knows how to cook talk about nerding out you nerd out about cooking i do i do i do oh, I, I wish man. i could I, I, like, I, I like like cooking that's I, another I, thing i think we can all nerd out about Bro, that i mean i mean right lately but every time he drops something on the thing i'm like fuck that was so <laughs> oh, when Javi drops something <laughs> yeah on he always what, drops some crazy with shit my paper and i'm just like man fuck it that's all you need people, people, people be like be like man we're always with the, as soon as i see that paper plate i see that paper plate boy <laughs> I, boy <laughs> i never seen a paper plate look so goddamn delicious that shit looks so good he make the leg quarters look good in a bit boy I made, I made a little leg quarter plate. Last night. <laughs> it's yeah. a colorful plate. Every time, it's always something. And I keep good. thinking it's a plate like, every time. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta hit them. Gotta yeah, hit them with the sides. I start reminiscing. Like say no go, go like, for me oh, plate. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. I, Man, I did. I, I did. Uh, this year was probably my busiest year tamale wise. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I I I grew up making making tamales uh, wow. and uh, I usually do them. You know, for friends and family. Uh, you know, whatever. I have a few. So like people that that I'll make a few dozens for whatever. reserva de la familia, right? You know, or or my wife's uh, coworkers. Sometimes I'll take a couple orders from there. But this year it was the first year that I kind of like let people like on Facebook know that I was doing it, and it, oh. I ended up I ended up doing a couple hundred dozen. Oh shit! Yeah. Damn. How, how much by per dozen? My, let, let me do some math. How much per dozen? <laughs> I'm, don't worry, the IRS don't. Hey, 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 inflation. <laughs> How inflation. Like, How was inflation? You know, I did, I, you know I, pimping shit. I did uh, 14 a dozen. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell it, yeah. It was, it was a nice ho ho work, ho baby. holiday season. Uh, no food stamps, though, you know, so I had to, you yeah. know. 
You know what I'm saying? That, that's the thing. A lot, a lot of the tama- tamale ladies, are, you know, it's it's a hustle, man. They used to take food stamps, bro. Well, no, no, no. If you buy, if you buy your ingredients, oh, they use the food stamps to buy the masa. I mean, it's a, it's a real, it's Damn. a real color. Oh. Yeah, to buy the pork. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, to buy everything. I mean, it, it yeah. is, it, it, it's expensive to, to, yeah, to make that, that fourteen dollars when you're figuring how much the ingredients cost. And then the the time and work, especially because, these days, bro. And uh, that was a solo endeavor for me. Oh, I, shit. I didn't have I didn't have no no assistance. So that was the most that I had made. Single, and one stove, single by hand. Well, no, th- this is over two weeks. Oh that, shit. That, that I that I did. So you must have a big pot. I do like a big one. Yeah. I do. So I was doing. Uh, I was averaging about about twenty five dozens uh, a day, is, is what. I was capping. I ended up capping. It took me a minute a to figure it out. I ended up capping like that's what I could do and maintain the quality that I <laughs> that I do. That. <laughs> oh yeah, because they're handmade. I'm not. I'm not using yeah. no tamale king. You the know, machine. I don't. I don't got the the masa that looks like 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 baby do. You know, <laughs> the sausage one. The Have you seen? <laughs> listen, dude. Little listen, turds. I know. I know. Last time I got hate. Last time I was on one of your podcasts and I talked shit about Delias. Oh yeah, remember? You know, listen, <laughs> listen, dude. This is like five years ago. Not, I remember not, this. Whatever, but they're not. They're not homemade. They're not handmade. You can order Honestly, the handmade ones. Go, go, go on YouTube. They give you a salad and, and watch that machine. That the, like it's a, literally a conveyor belt. It looks like baby poop. <laughs> Oh, that's what they make there, from? Yeah, all those. Well, you can't. Oh, you don't mess me up for doing. I mean, apparently they have handmade ones. At apparently, the store. yeah, but you obviously though, you could pay a premium for those. Right. And um, I think those are the ones we ordered, okay. just so that we wouldn't get stuck with the little machine ones. Uh-huh. But uh, but shout out to McCann, and I'm gonna be out there, man, January 25th. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she goes like, you over here after working a sponsor. Hold on, hey, Delia is gonna shoot a whole. Javi doesn't yo, speak yo, for us, Elias. If you want to sponsor hey, us, the, the, views, <laughs> the views and opinions of, of the guests. Hey, all are of us only the guests. Hey, y'all thought I was authentic transparent and honest but hey all of a sudden it's like oh whoa whoa hey whoa, hey whoa, hey whoa, some whoa, of us hey, like whoa pretty, pretty good. hey mean, if you really want to stick it to javi delia's what you got to do is you got to sponsor us and we will put it on the damn table he and, called her delia yeah. like chris delia's, 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 delia's chris whatever delia. hey you, he's you, in some heat you know it's whatever you're back in chingo to a wall both of you okay uh, nah okay. nah it, nah it's all good i mean shit I, um first of all the people we got our uh, meat from we bought a, a half calf and homeboy hit me up because I, ne- I wanted to buy some um some beef tallow right it's just some fat to render down so i could have it in my mason jars i was like hey man you got some of that you got to connect and um and he's like yeah yeah uh i'll sell you some and he said also my mom made some tamales if you want to try some and I'm like, how much? He says seventeen five. I was like, okay, you know, oh, shit, it's the new prices, I guess. He's like, yeah, yeah I know. He, he gave me the discount. I know, dog, but trust me. But yeah, motherfuckers went hard. Dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were delicious. I, I just yeah. told him I'm just gonna grab like two so I don't overdo it. And dude, I, yeah. that shit is like crack. And that's the cool. That was the cool part, you know, just being able to like link up with people that like do food at a little bit higher level, a little elevated, right, than normal. Like, a pre. You like, like man, grass people fed, like fourteen dollars. Like, hey man, if you want the, if you want that, like go, go to H B, get your seven dollar demolish. That's that's what it is. But this is, I feel this like right here, this, this pork, this, we read poetry. See, this, this is a so craft tamale. You know what you got to right tell here. people that tell you that Art, about the this, price? This artisan dude, yeah. you got to tell them. Look, if you you can have it one of three ways: fast, good, and cheap. Pick two of those three. Pick two of those three. Fast okay. and good, not gonna be cheap. Cheap and good ain't gonna be fast. But what happened? People appreciate it, right? Like I had a, a local chef there in, in Corpus. You know, uh, he does his own thing now. He does like a late night munchies menu and does like these weird gourmet burgers. His name's Gourmet Jorge, and uh, <laughs> that's a great name. And he uh, he hit me up. It, it to, to, just to try him out, ended up liking my tamales. He goes, "Hey man, I'm gonna incorporate it into my late night menu." He did what? a he did a tamale stuffed burger. He stuffed my tamale inside like a, a giant ass burger, cooked perfectly mm. all the way through. Like you know, most burgers are you know he he knows what the fuck he's doing. Gotta have medium, medium yeah, well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And and it was absolutely. And he brought me one so I could try it. What kind of tamale? You're gonna take us there, right? Yeah, right. When we, exactly. when we stop by Corpus. Well, he does he does late night delivery. He 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 cooks it and and he'll deliver it to you. So yeah, definitely will order. And he does like he has his staples like his burgers that he does, and then he does like. He'll do specialty items like like last week I got some uh, buffalo buffalo chicken enchiladas Ooh, from him. Love what? buffalo chicken stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Buffalo yeah, sauce, so, dude. Yeah, so good. Buffalo and he does it well. A lot of people when they do like the like inventive Sounds cuisine, good. I feel like they overdo it. 
Like yeah. they get a little like oh just too, too adventurous. just too too yeah too many different flavors like you're trying to like do blue too cheese. much. He does it just enough like that like oh man buffalo chicken I love buffalo chicken enchiladas I love that like those two things like married together yeah. so very just keep well. it there yeah don't go too yeah, far yeah 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 you don't have to go, you don't have to you what kind of tamales was he putting in the burger so he did my spicy pork mm. oh he used yours yeah that's he what he used said. my Dang. tamales oh, in there and now off of that. Uh, another there's another barbecue joint in Corpus that that wants to collab with me and do some brisk some of their brisket. Damn, so you're gonna stay hey, at home I'm making tamales. Javi getting I mean, the collab. Javi's about to get sponsors. Yeah. 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 I really should sponsors. be doing some cooking content, you know. But it's just it, it that's a whole different beast of, of how to ca- properly capture that. Yeah. But I do enjoy. I it, it had especially, you know. 2020 everybody had to kind of find a new outlet you know hey, our uh, kitchen home, cooking uh, was mine our kitchen studio about to be ready for uh for that I'll type come of up production here and do some cooking see we got the lights sure. already we just got to finish some of the stuff no for I'm, real I'm yeah i'm loving the new you know what i'm saying the ambiance so as a part of a chingo bling network maybe we can get like a dedicated uh shorts content creator where javi shoots the food stuff and someone cuts up shorts you shoot you know you know what i mean like kind of like juan does for you but like for cooking i could do that I mean, there you well, go. We, we do need an extra editor around this bitch. Yeah, so, uh, okay. we'll figure that out. Hey, <laughs> so for tamales, have you ever had mayonnaise on the tamale? No. Thank have you, you ever had uh, ketchup on the tamale? Yeah, I do the ketchup for sometimes. sure. Uh, Especially on reheated, I'll do I'll do ketchup okay. sometimes. Uh, mu- you ever tried mustard? I don't think I've ever even done the mustard. What? No, someone told me to try, and I meant to do it this year. Uh, I I could see it only because right, like corn, like corn dog, like I've had corn yeah, stuff Frito. with. I've had Fritos with some mustard before. I tried that. So I could see it, but I haven't tried it. Yeah, I don't think I've tried that one either. I think I might try it with like some Dijon mustard, though. Like add a little kick to it. Okay. See, that's well, how you know he's a foodie. He's like, the mayo, uh, my, my wife's family, they're cut from that cloth. Like they uh, mayo. they do the mayo, but they mix it with the salsa or they okay. or they dip back and forth or they just mix it, whatever. That's but cool. uh, at first I was like, huh, y'all weird. And then I tried it. I'm like, oh shit, I'm Martinez too now. <laughs> like I don't pick up their habits. The mayonnaise, but was but they mix the salsa. Oh the yeah, like you'll they'll put some mayonnaise either like on the tomato or on the side. Okay. Or my wife, I think she'll mix it with the chile. Why not just sour cream? Like any kind <clears throat> of well, that's mayo, two different things. Or is this like a like a good like? Uh, like a, I really like, like I really like haven't Mexican, asked them like, hey, Mexican y'all's family. Mayo? They got a certain brand uh, they do. Like, no, like, I think it's just mayo. Just whatever. craft mayo, just craft. probably. But I mean, or H E B mayo. It, it's, it's there's not, a difference between mayonnaise and mayo, right? That's a good no, question. Uh, no, there, Miracle Whip. Uh, you're thinking, right? Yeah. Oh, Miracle Whip. Yeah. There you go. That's the one. Yeah, my wife's a Miracle Whip person. <laughs> oh, What's different about it? They make it different. I don't, <laughs> it's tangier. It's like you're a yeah, super it's bummed either, about yeah, that. It's not, not the same. I, it's definitely tangier. Yeah, it's I mean, a good mayo. When you're talking about like, like, like. Brands like like Dukes or uh, the Hellman's. Yeah, I mean Hellman's is like probably like if you're talking about like there's definitely mayonnaise. There's good mayonnaise and and just your regular shelf stuff. Hellman's probably like the with the least I would I would go. You know when you, but there's H-E-B. definitely higher quality. HEB got some fire. I'm sure HEB. Yeah, they got fire condiments. HEB needs to separate their stuff a little bit better because like one time I fucked up and grabbed horseradish and fucked my whole day up. You're not trying to get an HB sponsorship at the moment, right? Uh, I'm looking I've, for any kind of sponsorship. I, I, finally, I, I finally had. If you want to I stick finally, it to one, leave finally, it there. I love HB. I love HB's products. Uh, I, 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 I fuck with their brand stuff a lot of times over the name brand. It, it's very rare that I find something of theirs that I don't think is is up to up to their. But brand they came quality. up short, right? Where they came up short. One, they're corn chips. For some reason, I love Fritos. I, I, but you give give me H E B brand corn chips. I, I don't like them. They're almost like a little stalish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know why they can't get rid. Mm. They, they they're on there with so many other things, but with those they can't. How random, dude! I thought the exact we did over yeah. Christmas. We did uh, burgers and hot dogs, and we had some of those. And I was like, why did it taste bad? We just bought them. Maybe I got a bad batch. Yeah. No, he just said the same thing. And they had a uh, they bad had batch. and another one. They had a barbecue because you know you get the meal deal. You got to they offer you the deal. You got to get the. The two things so you can two get things, the thing yeah. free, yeah. right? You want twenty five <laughs> cents off on this can of pork and beans? <laughs> get you every get time. five more. They get buy our cheddar cheese. Time. I was like, why do we have this? She goes, it was part of a meal though. I was like, all right, but <laughs> what is it? A bourbon, a bourbon, uh, Kentucky bourbon barbecue sauce. I was like, okay, I'll try it. I didn't dig it. First of all, I'm over the like the alcohol infused. No, never food. stop. 
right? Like it's overdone. <laughs> like people, people are like, like oh, like every, like first of all, it, it, using alcohol in food has its place, right? But I shouldn't taste the fucking alcohol. <laughs> uh, what's an example? Like what? What's the item that like they? Pe- like in like like that like like oh put like whiskey in, in your barbecue sauce yeah oh, that type of okay, shit okay well like no like like and and if, if it's so like here's the thing like if like it doesn't get you it doesn't intoxicate you at all right we uh, we all know that yeah like people you people was like maybe oh, rum cake right if, if you if you <laughs> I get hung over like a mother. and if you put if you if you put enough in there where it does then you then it all it does is taste like alcohol and who drinks alcohol for the taste of it yeah like you do it for or the for the, the f- like you don't want to eat effect we were just talking Rob, about this I absolutely do Rob does you do you Fuck like yeah that's a, you he, like Rob alcohol is a and true. chew stuff like other than like. You know, I can barbecue sauce. I can fuck with it to an extent, but I don't want to taste the alcohol over the meat or over the okay. sauce. Like that's fair. That's fair. But you're yeah. talking about for the taste. Like you don't like the boozy taste. You drink, right? Yeah. No, I don't like the boozy. You don't like I, the, no, no. I, 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 I drink. <laughs> it's a feeling. I drink sparingly. Yeah. And and, and when I when I drink, I drink to to catch a buzz, not not to not because I'm like, oh, this My tastes man. good. <laughs> My man. That's, yeah. See, that's. I mean, some of that stuff tastes really good. Yeah. Uh, I haven't I haven't found one I like like that because it's cheap shit. <laughs> yeah. Rum rum cake's one of the ones I, I, I hate. There used to be I used to work in an office with this lady. That would, just swore to God that her rum she made the best rum cake, and all it was was she put way too much rum in it. <laughs> 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 like, like, this is not a good cake. Oh my god! <laughs> Five minutes in, you're just like, man, this shit this is great. This you're is, in the mail room with shit, Buddy the Elf. Man. <laughs> you're this in the mail room shit, with Buddy bro. the Elf. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I, I definitely, I definitely can get a little catty when it comes to. I, I believe a lot of stuff food wise is overhyped. I, that's why I don't. A lot of restaurants like. When people get too excited about a particular restaurant, I, I get very, very... Your skepticism. Uh, skeptic. Yeah. yeah, I'm a skeptic. Yeah, when people are hyping it too much, I'm like, it, it can't be that life-changing. Like, like you know, very well, rarely do I taste something and be like, this is the best of this type of food that I've ever um, had. I forget how it comes up when we get to talking about like, like all right, out of all the, the chicken place biscuits. All right, so what was it? KFC, Churches, Popeyes, who else? For the running of the biscuits, we're gonna get his opinion on that. That was it. It was KFC, Popeyes, and churches. churches. And the, Rank one the to biscuits. three. First, first, second, third. The silver, the gold, the bronze. Yeah, give me the give. Start with the gold. Okay, uh, gold. Gold is gonna be churches. Uh, I I do like. The, I haven't had them in in a minute, so I'm going. Uh, this is a purely memory. reference off off of memory. But uh, definitely, definitely churches. The the honey butter. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was a diehard Popeyes. Kid, and I like the Popeyes biscuits. They they have not held up over time. Oh, they fell off. Yeah, and KFC. I don't think remember ever caring for KFC. So what's two and three though? Is so, this Popeyes so, KFC? So churches would be one. Popeyes is two. Mm. Uh, and KFC, KFC three. three. Wait, KFC. Remember, has I biscuits? said the same shit. Huh? You did say the same. Wait, say it yeah. again. KFC has biscuits. See, they're not even known I, for no, biscuits. I'll skip it most of the time. See, yeah, you're too goddamn excited about this. <laughs> Wait, but that, they do have it. Yes, I have it. Yeah, because oh. Rob was like, KFC has the best biscuits. And I'm like, what? <clears throat> I what? like the have, y'all, have y'all had Golden Chick? Yeah, that, that's Dude, just really good. they're fucking rolls? Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not a big roll That's guy, a different category. But yeah, do, rolls uh, are way different. I don't, I don't, Chicken Express, do y'all have Chicken Express? Oh, yeah. It's like yeah, similar they're, to they're roll, good. Yeah, they are good, yeah. It's yeah, a good truck stop. I, I put I put the Golden Chick, if you haven't had that one, mm-hmm. is, is a little bit better than, than the okay. other one. Chicken Express, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, they're fuzzy in my head, but they both go hard. And then sometimes we got to talking about gyros. And like halal guys type of shit, and then one time we got to talking about like su- like subs, like sandwiches, and I was I was telling them about how like Jersey Mike's for me oh, it just yeah. kind of reminds me of the New Jersey subs I had in New Jersey when I was in high school. Okay, and um and then I sent Rob a picture because they put like a huge amount of oil and vinegar and these yeah. like seasonings and shit, so it's like. It's kind of it's dripping. Yeah, as far as yeah, but it, it's I'm dripping on the inside, top of the fan. Sandwich. It was the first time I had it. He took it, and I was like, "Well, just give me whatever he's gonna." Did get you get so it? I could, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, you "Got it, Mike's way." It. Yeah, because okay. I was like, "Well, okay, you're you're telling me about it. Fuck it, let's do it." And it was so good. Mighty souls, I got it without. Bro, it was so. Good. You just wouldn't expect it because I was like, "It's gonna be soggy. It's gonna be weird. It just it just does something." I thought you said it was subpar. No, it you was good. It? Oh, okay, it was really good. I still remember it. It's good. It mm. was good. 
Never even had a Jersey Mike's. I don't think I was trying to think in, as y'all were talking. I, if I have, it's probably like at a like a box lunch thing. You know, we got turkey, we got ham. What do you want? Yeah, <laughs> firehouse is a Fi- now firehouse, firehouse is, is fire. fire. Uh, yeah, now, now as an adult, with an adult palate, yeah, yeah. Fire, we're I trying to get Rod I won't to that go point. To sandwich other than other than firehouse. Look, go to go to the Jersey Mike's and just get it Mike's way. Yeah. Just try it. It's it's better than firehouse. Okay, it's better than firehouse. Damn. Okay, I'll say because I've had firehouse. I'm I'm gonna try it. And if it's not, I also went and tried Jimmy John's. Nah, I'm not a big hyped, fan of that. that shit nah. up, and I was like. Uh, I, it's just I, a I sandwich. Wanted, I wanted to, yeah, it, it was absolutely horrible. Look, as a foodie, because I know you're a foodie and you know taste, it just Jersey Mike's has a taste that's just okay. like, damn. Yeah, that's I want good. some flavor. I, it's really good. <laughs> I know you like taste, player. <laughs> it's know? taste. It's all about yeah, taste. We, I know it looks like I just eat a lot. Like, people, like you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, I, I know you like, yeah, I, I, like I know you no, know your you food. Know, if, if you haven't seen Javi's Instagram or anything and you haven't seen the plates he puts out, you would know this motherfucker throws down, so he knows his shit. <laughs> It's so yeah, good. we give Rob a hard time because he has the the safer. <laughs> taste I have a I have a child's chicken palate. Tendies? Yeah, chicken. T- yeah, that, they tell me that all the time. Chicken yeah, chicken tendies. Me and my eight year olds have the same exact palate. That's cute. Yeah, hundred yeah, so- My ex wife, man, we used to go out to, and my wife now is not, not to get into that trap of comparing the two, but. <laughs> I was married to to a Rob chicken ten, chicken tender oh mashed potatoes God. ketchup and only corn everywhere every everywhere first of all now you know we like to to try to try you know okay what are you gonna order and I'll order the I'll order something mm-hmm. different so we can both you know try it or whatever and I'm yeah. okay with the share with the the sharing off the plate as long as it has to be. Uh, it has to be discussed before order. Beforehand? Like, don't wait to see what I'm ordering yeah. and then just assume you're going to take yeah. some of my shit. <laughs> like, be like, okay, well, then you get this and I get that. Okay, and I'm going to have some. Okay, and now you're going to have some of mine. Like, <laughs> we, we discussed it's that. predetermined. Yeah, and what appetizer we're going to get. You know? It has to be a declaration a of meeting, what's about yeah. to happen. Understanding. Yeah. 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 So That's we... So yeah, like I, I'll tell Rob, I was like, so you've never had a Whataburger with the mustard. I was like, then you've never really had a Whataburger then. I'm with you on fast food. Mm. I'm a, as, as much as I, I, I like food for fast food, I'm a big fan of order it off the menu the way it fucking comes. That's how I do it. If, if possible. Make unless, it the like, way y'all make it. Unless you don't absolutely don't like it. Like yeah. Fuddruckers, I can't do Fuddruckers. I fuck up the burger. I don't get when he says that. How do you fuck up? You make it your own way. You get the and meat it, and the and bun. And it ends up and being bad. Like, it, you don't know up, what you like? No. <laughs> see, the issue is... Um, it's kind of counterintuitive because from the surface level, it's one of those, it's like, you made it and you know what you like. So how could you not like it? It's like, no, it's, oh, nacho cheese. Sounds like a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, Waterburger oh, don't make it till you order it. You end up doing too much. The what? I said, Waterburger don't make it till you order it. You know? No. That's, that's their slogan. That's they don't, we don't make it till you order it. No, I'm not saying my Fuddruckers sucks because it has nothing to do with when it was made or how. It has to do with... I ruined it he by gets putting shit. Jealous. Yes, it's almost like it's like all these things sounded like a good idea, huh? Oh, it's like all these things sounded like a good idea at the time, but it just is a subpar experience. Versus like, I'd rather go to the fast food joint and be like, yeah, give it, give it to me the way it comes. It's I don't like H-E-B with the coupons. You you know you start doing too. Does much. that make sense? Yeah, no. it makes perfect no, it sense. It, makes, it does not make sense. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, dude. Because then you start getting like, overzealous. You're like, oh, I have the options. Yeah, like, it's like throw it's, that on. it's possible to not like what you make. Yeah, but you could easily just make it the way you would order it or have it be ordered off the menu at Waterburger, right? Yeah, but you're saying when he has the options, no, they give those you options? because yeah, 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 there's no control. I get it. Yeah, they give you because think about it. What what do they have at Fuddruckers? It's like pico de gallo. They got like a lot of shit. This kind of lettuce, that kind of lettuce, mm-hmm. that kind of cheese, that kind of cheese. These kind of pickles, this kind of relish. And before you know it, you got too many condiments. Maybe you put too much condiments. And in his head, he's like, I like pico. I like yeah. Cheese. It's like oh, I like that. It all kind of sounds Fuck like it. a good idea. Then it's like oh, this is a little bit too. much. I roll with it, but it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, ask, I usually. Ask well, it's easy for you because you just put ketchup, ketchup, bacon, jalapeno. Let's so roll. It's easy. For, you can't fuck it up <laughs> exactly. Because you have a min, uh, 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 less Dang. variable, and that's why my way's better. Small mind, bro. That's you what I'm saying. Minded. That yeah. way, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying he, his <laughs> way works at Fuddruckers. My way does not. Yeah, they don't work for me. It's like I'm all for I'm all, I do appreciate y'all make a it? good simple order. Like this is especially Starbucks, man. My wife and my daughters they be getting like, oh, put can you put the uh, with the? It's like my my words going going back 
PTSD for my office job days, man. I used to hate when it was my turn to go Eesh. and get lunch for the whole office. Minus this, add that, this, hold so, to if this. If someone else is ordering for your ass, your job, you have one simple. job that's to make it as simple as possible. That's Give true. me number one. And that's we true. don't need that's drinks. True. We got drinks. We got drinks in the fridge. <laughs> we got I'm, bottles of water. I'm not gonna ask for a fucking drink carrier. The lids fucking falling off. <laughs> Mucho and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, we used to. Oh, I used to hate it. <laughs> there was this one lady we used to, and, and it would always be my turn to go for lunch and go to Subway, and she wanted. Can you make sure that they cut my tomatoes? <laughs> like she wanted them, oh, like cut hell. extra, like because no. they only cut them in half, but she wanted cut. <laughs> Like, she wanted little triangles, not slices. Yeah. <laughs> and they cut the edge of the tomato part off. I don't like Damn, the skin, dude. I thought she was joking the first time. I was like, who would possibly make this request <laughs> of, an, of an acquaintance? Like, I wouldn't a coworker. Even, yeah, I wouldn't even go through that through that effort for my my wife and be like, nah, you gotta get it. You're like my however, wife now. However, they cut those tomatoes. <laughs> that's how you get those tomatoes. Like the cut does not affect the taste Damn. whatsoever. That's wild. That's what Chichingo would say. What's some other like debatable like well shit you rob do you tell us like <laughs> food wise something you're curious about something you've never had or well how do you get a recommendation so how should somebody get their meat cooked does this is this do we all agree that it should be medium medium rare medium well it, it, medium rare for a burger what are you talking about oh, oh for, for a burger, burger? yeah oh me, yeah, yeah medium, medium? medium what do they normally do medium medium most medium, burger joints medium well medium well is typically yeah. what they do unless you ask for medium well okay i mean first of all like there's different types of burgers too. You're talking about like a smash burger. There's no, there's no medium, medium well. Yeah, that, yeah, that bitch is going to get cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true. That's true. That's true. That's true. He's getting roasted. <laughs> you know, but that's what you're ordering. You you want that little crisp, that mm-hmm. little crunch. You you know you you want that. That texture. Right, that texture there. But if you're talking about like, like a good gourmet burger, if it's just like Fud Records, yeah, I'm gonna cook it medium well because. They're honestly probably not using that great of a meat unless you order like one of their weird ostrich or whatever ostrich buffalo or, or whatever. But if it's a, if 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 it's a if you order a fucking Kobe beef burger, well, I want to taste the the meat. I don't want all the flavor of the meat cooked out of there. So yeah, I'll order it medium. Mm-hmm. Well, what are you gonna say? Um, well, Killens. How do they give it to you at Killens Burgers? Is that medium or medium one? Killen? I've never had Killens. Never had it. <clears throat> it's one of those little bit more know. like gourmet. Where's that at? By here, that that uh, y'all had taken me one time that burger spot. So By here, a mm. burger place. Right I don't know. I think. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, he's like, I was like, I don't know where, where, where I'm at. Be wrong. It could be like thirty minutes away. Bro. <laughs> you've been on the road with you so long. Everything just that? blends together. Uh, had they had like the the like the the aluminum metal chairs. It's very like very like sterile looking. They had the picture. Jingo, <laughs> <of> the- <laughs> <laughs> are you taking them, bro? <laughs> What's a good burger joint around you know, here, so bro? I wouldn't say, like, go there for the atmosphere. It yeah. was, like, very much, like, eat your food, get the fuck out. Daryl? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the worst way to describe it. y'all doing abortions up here? Eat your food, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you doing abortions in the back? No, what well, I'm trying to say is some, like... Clan some, Parenthood some, like, RS, like, what's some up? Some restaurants have, like, an ambiance to them, right? They got shit, shit yeah. hanging up on the wall. Like, this had some art, like, it had a picture, a mural of a cow, I think. <laughs> with like the, the sex like I, let me, I can't like I don't know what the oh, oh I know yeah. I know what it is I know what it is I know what it is oh, it I know what it is it they shut down they went out of business oh did they okay. oh yeah I, I, makes I, sense I think it was called now. Buff Burger Buff Burger that yeah. Was yeah 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 Buff decent. Burger that's yeah a decent burger spot. yeah it was decent it's gone remember now. Bernie's Next time change your look change yeah, your Bernie's Burger Buzz that one also went under right too right bro. Uh, did it? During the pandemic? Wait, illegal, oh, who did? Bernie's, Bernie's Burger, Burger Bus. Yo, I had peanut butter ramen. It sounds disgusting, peanut butter. but it was okay. off the chain. Wait, where was that? Was that? It's over there by by my house. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. It was like spicy it, as fuck. Whereas my Malo says, peanut butter. Yeah, it mm-hmm. was great. I was like, what with, the with, fuck? With like the Thai chilies and, and everything? It had a Thai it? vibe. I couldn't yeah. tell like, hey, so who invented this type of shit? Like, what yeah. is this? I get it. When you think about it, like, right, you think about it, like, like mole or, or something. Like yeah, yeah, that's why okay. they were like, like it's like peanut butter ramen. Butter. I was like, yeah. ooh. It works. And I was like, uh, okay, so that's mainly what y'all do? And I was like, fuck it. I'll take this, this one right here. This is the main. Yeah. You know, we're even though we're known for either like these or these. And I was like, okay, fuck it. I'll try that one. Yeah. Um, I tried. Fuck it. I like peanut butter on my burgers. Uh, I don't think I've had that. 
Peanut butter on your burger? Like, yeah, there's a gourmet place on my side of town that'll do, it's called The King, and they make like okay. in-house preserves, like strawberry preserve or a oh. grape, and then they put peanut butter on there as well. Yeah. With bacon? Mm. Yeah, get that. I'm protein. surprised you tried you, you that. Like get that protein. Savory? I love sweet and savory okay. though. That's one of my favorites. I'm yeah. surprised you tried that. Hmm. I just don't like veg. Like I, I don't like, like onions. I like and sweet and shit. savory better than I like sweet and spicy. I don't do sweet and spicy mm. as much. Mm. So, so. Sweet and spicy. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, like my wife likes the like the the jalapeno pr- pr- peanut brittle. Brittle. Oh yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. Like that. And I'm like, eh. What about like candied jalapenos? Uh, no, no? I like just regular pickled jalapenos. To mm. me, like I, I want, if I want spice, I want spice. If I, you know, yeah. Right. You you like Vietnamese food? Yeah. What, what, Super what do you spicy get from there. Uh, Vietnamese food. The only stuff I've really had is just like whatever their like go to like. Uh, spicy. Um, My fucking lying. No, 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 no. It's just noodles and rice. But then it's, there's something else. Pad Thai isn't isn't Vietnamese, but it's something like Pad Thai. I think vermicelli. Yeah, I guess or it. Pho? No, it's not pho. It's, it's, so it's you from have you had pho? Yeah, I don't really like soups that much. Oh, okay. I'm still traumatized from Vietnamese restaurants. That's the one where I went out with that one girl that ordered like the whole menu. Oh, and I had to pay. <laughs> so yeah, so he he he. What was that? That's Tinder shit? Huh? Was that Tinder? Or what was yeah, that? Tinder app? It was a dating app. It was like it was, but this was in 2014, 15. Yeah. 2014, 15. I just when got did, divorced. When did them apps come out? The Tinder and all that. They've been out for a long yeah, time. Yeah, a long time. But that was like that was like right. in its heyday. Wasn't really meant for like we're just gonna. It's a hookup app. It was like that was still. It was still whatever then. Fourteen, you know? fifteen was like the early days of the Tinder. Yeah, yeah it was so, early because like my divorce was two thousand fifteen. <clears throat> so yeah. I want to say that came out. Like <laughs> yeah. So 14. I'm kind of a connoisseur. <laughs> that <laughs> summer was fucking fire. Like, oh, that was the summer of love. Yeah, that was summer of love. <laughs> Yeah, so he told the story. Uh, Juan told the story of I like, like fucked up. Well, he told me about what you were on some like you don't know what app it was. I it might have been Tinder. It might have been because that was like the the main prevalent one back then that nothing else competed with. Really. And that the chick you want to tell it what she did. Uh, so we went out and we, we literally the date was just supposed to be we we're gonna go and watch a musical. I never seen a musical and I was like <laughs> new beginnings, whatever. Well, Let's try seen, it out. Let's see what Greece. a musical is, right? <laughs> She convinced me to go to, to Austin from San Antonio, so I was like, this sounds like a great idea. Wow. Never met her. Fuck it. So we were going to go, but I wanted to go early because I had I never went. <laughs> <laughs> I had never went. Well, I was, see, I've never been to Austin, so to me, it was like an adventure. It was like, Damn, oh, you grew up yeah. in San Antonio. Wow. Yeah, I grew up in San Antonio, I, Odessa. Like I was in different spaces, so... I never been like just let's just go fucking go somewhere. So I was like, yeah, that's cr- cool, but let's go to a breakfast. Let's go eat something nice. And she's like, she recommends, okay, I know where to go. I've been to Austin all the time. So we end up going, and I was like, this is a Vietnamese restaurant. And I'm, I'm not, I was, I'm like Rob, where I was just like very <laughs> black and white at the time, at the time, you know. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I'm like, bitch, this is not breakfast. Like what? So she's like, no, it's gonna be great. So we go in. And dude, she starts ordering because I I don't know how to read the menu first of all. Okay. So I was just like, I've never been here, never had this. Why don't I don't you like order? Soups. Why don't you order for me <laughs> uh-huh. and just get something that's gonna be that you think I'm gonna like? And she, the lady comes out, they start, and you know, she's like, just mm-hmm. was she Vietnamese? Stuff. Was she Vietnamese? Uh, she was Asian. But she spoke to the lady in the language. And I didn't she get to the, the whole... part to ask her all that because I was like, this ain't gonna work out. She ordered the whole menu. <laughs> okay. And then he's so, like, so, check, please. Well, I didn't know that she, I didn't know she ordered the whole menu because she was like, oh, yeah, I yeah. did. Like, it was like she was asking her questions. Mm-hmm. She so was like, I was, she was like, uh, cafe soda. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, She's, stuff. all right. So she knows some shit. Okay. So yeah. Okay, cool. And then she comes, uh, so she goes to the restroom real quick. She's like, I'll be right back. And there's this gay couple right next to me. And they, they just start looking at me like, mm. and did they go back to the menu. That? Huh? Is this the story you like? You got played or like what? what? Yeah. Oh, oh no, she's coming back part. out. She's coming back out, but she she's just is killing me. It's know, just like right? this. <laughs> <laughs> they start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> they start laughing, and they're just like, "Why don't we move tables over?" And I was like, "Huh?" I was like, "What the fuck?" All right, like like I got cooties or something. Uh-huh. And I was like, "Oh shit!" She comes back out, and then they start bringing the first plate, the second plate, the third plate. 
Oh, the no. fourth plate. And to make oh, it worse, no. to make it worse, just to make it sting a lot more. One. She was taking pictures of every. She's like, wait, don't One. eat that yet. I need to take a picture first. One. So she was taking. Her was like, I'm out blog. on a date with She was a taking Polaroid pictures, and I'm just like this. Blog. I'm like, what? What? She used you for her blog, bro. bro. <laughs> they started. They started. They started. Do we blog. had? We had one. They're smaller. Ta- they're kind of like that table. We had three fucking full tables of food. I was already uncomfortable with the fact that you drove this girl to Austin <laughs> on a first date. That wasn't even the worst part. <laughs> the worst part is somewhere in the day she started hitting herself at a light, You're and I was like, much, "What?" Oh, she so. started hitting. She herself started hitting her. She like spazzed out, and she just started going stupid, stupid. And I was like, "Holy shit!" Oh, you dated shit, an autistic girl from Tinder. Wow, fuck? bro, it got weird. It, yeah. I and think then I had to drive her back home where she was where where you she was hitting it. herself on the way. Yeah, people say I should have left her. I was like, well, no, I mean, I people said I should have left her there, and I was like, no, no. I, I, I think there's a lot of crazy out you know, there. Gentlemen. Like on Bumble, some chick just got killed by the dude, like 21 year old crazy dude. Ended up like kidnapping her, keeping her for a few days, and she turns up dead. Like off the Bumble app, so basically there's a lot of crazy out there. And mm. You just got to figure out how you can navigate this shit and not get caught up with like end up with a crazy baby mama. Well, I hope this girl's still alive because she's still doing it. Because like I had a, I mean the fact that she no, 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 I had an old ex with you, bro. Like and drive out of town, <laughs> bro. I like, should have told you she was crazy because like who does that in this day? But that was like, back I, then. You but know, this was fourteen, early, fifteen. Yeah. Uh, so it was a little different. Onset, I mean, so so the thing, better. the thing is, I had an ex recent. Well, not recently. Maybe like a year ago, she told me. Hey, you remember that? Because I told I tell the story to some people that they ask me the craziest date I've ever been on. I say this story, right? Mm-hmm. And this ex was like, "Hey, you remember that story you told me? Is this the girl?" And I was like, "Did she follow her?" Yeah. Football? How the fuck <laughs> you know that? She's right? My favorite, favorite food vlogger. You know bro, she was <laughs> on. She was. She was on like a Twitter thread with like people that have similar stories of that shit. Of like. Like worst Tinder she didn't experience. have she didn't have her purse. Blah blah blah. blah. Other people were like, I left the bitch. Other people were <laughs> like, I did this, I did this. So I was like, damn, she's still doing the damn thing. <laughs> like she hit herself at a line. And then now she's taking it to another level. Like before, it was just the straight standard date, and and, and the worst thing she did where it was like game over is when she took out her teeth. <gasps> and I was like, oh, oh, wait, oh wait. we're done. Oh. This a different date, different chick. No, it's the same girl. <laughs> it, was a, it was the end of the date because I was like, oh, After we're not. She hit herself yeah after she hit herself i was like okay i'll so, give it some more time and then like at the she very had end she had something because when she took it out her it's teeth so, were busted hey, don't say a lot about dentures because rob gonna get turned on <laughs> <laughs> he, he like so so she she took out that so i was like oh damn but now it wasn't was just like, that stuff sh- she had now her she brings gums. dolls now she brings little dolls when she so, sets up and she sets up at the table she gets rid of the chair and she sits down from the top now and will talk into the person while she eats. How'd you figure that out? Someone said it. In, no, in the, in the thread, thread of the Twitter that my oh. that my ex told. This bitch me. had a like, whole Dang. Twitter thread. Bro. A whole Twitter thread of just like victims. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was like, there's Dang. a lot of crazy out there. Was, that was a crazy one. <laughs> and, and, but you stayed on this app after, after this. <laughs> I mean, it was there. It's still a good time. I mean, man. I was just. Shit, I don't even know if I even did it. I, I really got rid you of the app. So you well, had to have stayed off for a minute, like after that experience. I, I, man, I off for a minute. Back that in the day, crazy. I'm not on apps anymore because it's just annoying now. Cause now I never got on, man. You just, our, our app back then was like yeah, the club. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I got a mixtape out. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I, got, I got married. Pre- I didn't have a mixtape. Okay, Chango, fuck. App. And then when I went through my divorce, I was already a comedian, so it didn't really. So then, boom! You had game. Yeah. Well, well I mean, there, there's options. You know, when you're I like how you got options. options. He's like, you know, guys, I might want to just stay in the night on my own. No. Keep it simple. And, you know, go to bed early. Take my supplements. Looking funniest in Texas, right there. That guy. Okay. Speaking of funniest uh-huh. in Texas, what are the options for tickets coming up, Chingo? <laughs> The options? Yeah. Chingobleen.com, man. We have uh, January 25th, McAllen. January 26th, South Padre Island. January 27th, in Laredo. Those those three right there with uh, Raymond Orta. It's a doubleheader show. Uh, AI helped me write the description on the ticket list. Hey, you learned how to use it. I was it. like, uh, uh, Rob found this chat GPT. Yeah. yeah. And I, I tell it like, okay. uh, got any creative ideas for promoting the Chingo Bling and Raymond tour? It's like, these two hilarious comedians, nonstop carcajadas <laughs> with their high energy. <laughs> and da, 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 something para todos. Sas, prende la vela. 
Dude, what? have you I used like, it? Fucking you used AI, it? dude! It wrote me a rap. <laughs> no, it, well, no, I've heard it. Yeah, they can write. Have you rap. played with it yet? Write, no, I have. I heard it can, but shit. Juan, I refu- I better. Maybe we'll talk about that a little later because Juan refuses to use it, and maybe we can riff off that. So how is it? But it, like, if you ask it the same thing and I ask the same thing, it's gonna ge- generate. Or, or it depends how you prompt it. It's all in all in what you tell it. Is this the one, like? Can it analyze writing? Like, can it write in your style? Yes, no, it can so write in any so style. You can feed it like samples. You can, like, learn, yeah, like, I was asking it, him the same thing all, yesterday. Let it learn your voice and your tone. Well, because I was asking him about like what are the plagiarism like laws with this, or how does it work with this? AI doesn't like, have what? rights. Just, yeah, that's exactly what he <laughs> yeah, said. He's like, I was like, damn, dog. So it has, it has no intellect. It has <laughs> exactly. No yeah, y'all laughing doing now. Doing this shit in y'all, fucking high school. Y'all laughing now. Damn. Well, let's leave him uh, with a cliffhanger then. We'll talk about that because I want to ask Kavi about it. Okay. On the next episode, we're going to talk about what? AI? On a, on a very special episode. On a very special episode. When will the robots, ta- robots take over? The beards. I'm, listen, robots? I, I'm excited about Whoa, it. Bro. Just so if the robots are listening, you ain't going to get no problem from me <laughs> whenever you want to take over. Like, I'm cool with it. Yeah. Like, I'm just, one of the good ones. Yeah. Just supply I'll him. I'll be a pet. <laughs> like, supply, I'll be a pet. Just be you know, the, keep I'll him be, alive. Hey, I'll be your puppet. What's don't up? Separate, don't separate from me from my family. Let us be like a whole family of pets. Yeah. <laughs> don't like send, you know, one there, one yeah. there. One we'll be there. your chia pets. What's up? Yeah. So, hey, this has been a very human episode of the <laughs> What Did He Said podcast. No AI on this episode. The no AI. One. No All AI. this was just human error. And uh, shout out to Javi Luna, our very special co-host and yes. guest and i'm sorry delia is yeah i'm sure you're, you're gonna work <laughs> that was on the other episode oh damn we bringing it back <laughs> no it was this episode yeah yeah of course y'all had the fat Shit. guy on the show man you had to talk about food for it's 35 all food, minutes non-stop every episode three episodes all right y'all y'all be good we'll holler at you next time peace, peace.